Nigeria we are suffering. The hardship in this country is too much. I'm a bold soldier. As I said, we deserve to fight and fight our rights. We are all suffering. Salary is too poor. Salary of the common ones in this country is too poor. Nigeria need to come out in mass and fight for their rights. Imagine what I do for a living. It's so shameful to me after going to school and I will be hockey on the street. It's not good. shop should be looted. There are many Igbos who suffer during this time. Looting and so many things. We don't need that. Deal with issues. And if you feel like there is no reason, don't do follow, follow because people are following. If your heart says it's okay, stay at home. I beg you. Don't jump into what you don't understand. You should understand it to do it. And please, if they are giving you money to cause amen, to cause havoc in Nigeria, then you know when you mother sleep, you will sleep no more. This is your country. This is your country. They can deport you from any other country, they will bring you back to Nigeria. If you set this country on fire, you will come into the fire. The truth is, if there is employment in this country, if somebody who is collecting money will not be in the street. If our youths are paid well, People go to school, they are graduate, they have PhD, they have masters, they don't have anything. African leaders, wake up! Wake up! That's the truth, wake up! Build good hospitals at home! We are tired of these overseas trips. When you have the money to build good hospitals here, wake up! This is our home! Wake up! The money we are accumulating and stealing African leaders. Even when you die, you can't finish the money. These are the provocations. Your end, even though somebody wants to bring you down, if you do what is right, nobody can bring you down. Good leadership sells itself. we are now. You say, ah, this man of God is talking now. He's, I studied political science in, in school. 
it's my field too, I can talk. You cannot just sit down. One of the great problems we have in Nigeria and in Africa is systemic failure. Everything, systemic, leadership, systemic failure. I enter, I put my brother, not competent. I put this, I put, it's time for us to eat. Oh yeah, watch them. Everybody come and eat. Uzo, 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 Abinji, let's eat. That's what we do. So we eat, we, we sit, eat as our tongue. So that's why we don't understand this issue. It will, if we continue like this, things will not change. Things will not change. Believe me, God is keeping this country and this country must do. How can we avoid refineries and no one is working? And we keep having billions, billions voted for it. And there are staffs in that refinery collecting salary. And I don't know what they are collecting salary for. Now we keep quiet here. God will help us. We need leaders with will who will stand. This is not about Ibo, Ausa, Yoruba. We need leaders with will to stand. Talk. I will say my own. This is the only way I can say my own. And every one of us. It's time to talk. If we don't talk, our children, children will suffer it. But say, in the name of protest, you want to bring the country down. We will, we will not allow you to do that. We will speak against you. This country is our country. And this is not about one man. If you have your hatred for one man, keep it to yourself. Leave Nigeria. When it is time, you can now begin to do. You talk about electoral reforms, everything. I, I can see that the current government has uh, have won the case where with the governors on the autonom autonomy of the uh, of local government. That's that's a way to go. Things is get put in shapes. And let us pray that we should have a time where the president will not elect the INEC chairman. The, there will be a procedure where there's the independency of the INEC and the rest. Fine. We will get there step by step, step by step. It's, it's a step in progress. But one thing is every one of us, as we pray, we should talk and walk. This is our country. Nobody should join to pull Nigeria down. We should talk about issues, but not to destroy this country. Because this is our home. And this is where we will come to. Even those who are old, after they are old in America, everywhere, they think of coming back home. And if you have a problem, if they want to deport you, where will they deport you to? To Nigeria. At least you will come back home. You will go to your village and see your people. If you scatter Nigeria, where will you go to? Sometimes I feel for our security operatives. You know, in the midst of these protests, people who gone and they just want to make sure there is law and order. And then you see people start stoning them, stoning them with boot, stoning them with... You, you don't need to do that. These my men are just there to protect. And you should understand, they will be command. Please. You don't need to, you don't need to stone a policeman, tear their uniform, and provoke them. That's not the person ruling you, leading you. That's not your governor. That's not your that's the policeman. He's just sent there. The soldier is sent there to make sure that lives are not lost. Please, let's not hate our security men, police, soldiers, and the rest. When we see them and we are protesting, you are bitter. You start stoning them. You see them like they are the president you hate or the governor you hate. Please. Many, many policemen who also go to the same market you go to, soldiers who also go to the same market you go to, have lost their lives. You've left, you've made them to become widow. You stone them, but no. These are all the things that lead to provocation. A policeman cannot stand and see. Two, two people have lost hit his policeman down. These are what leads to provocation. Don't provoke them. Do what? Deal with issues. Speak to issues. When you speak to issues, leaders will listen. They will listen. Nobody says they are not listening. The body language everywhere is showing that everybody is concerned about the protest. You know, when we talk like this in the church, ah, they are not supposed to talk like this in the church. They are not supposed to talk like this in the church. As if you don't go to market because you come to church. As if you don't eat because you come to church. Now that you come to church, you came to church, you put water in your, in your car, camp, car tank. You just carry water and pour and you drive down here. Give Jesus a clamp offering.
I'm sure we have all heard of it in Professor Joshua Idila have to say consigning our country Nigeria and the ongoing protest. It is important that we pay serious attention. This is not the, the time to say hey, this pastor is not good, that pastor is not good. Let's not listen to him. Let's not listen. This is not the time. Everything he has said makes good sense. Everything he has said makes sense. So please let us try to comply and let wisdom guide us. The Bible says that wisdom is profitable to that. So when we hear the voice of wisdom like this, it is important that we adhere to it so forget about it it is one of the problems not one of the problems we are doing everything to make life easy for our people let us also join hands together to pray for our country Nigeria in as much as we are protesting and fighting for a better Nigeria we don't let anybody Use you to destroy the peace and unity in this country. Don't let any politician use you as a hoodlock, as a thug to, to destroy this state. peaceful protest. Don't but let yourself to be used. Don't it. allow yourself to be used to destroy Nigeria. To destroy Nigeria. Don't let that happen. Don't allow that to happen at all. You need to you need to think for what. Ask yourself this question. These people that are telling me to cause destruction and all the rest are their children involved? No, they are not. So, difficult so to ascertain this type of thing. When it comes to distribution of palliatives, also. We, 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 we don't, don't want palliatives. We don't want things to be sent to us like we're a charity case. We're not a charity case. We want institutional change. The change that comes from the top to the bottom. A change that it represents the idea of the decentralization that we have been talking about. The unbundling of the unbundling of the limited liability of the unbundling 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 of the the reason why I only that thought that we should pray for our country the Nigeria is because there is this saying that when two elephants fight, it is the grass that suffers. It is important for you to understand that whatever happens in this now, country right now, it is going to affect you and I more. Uh, I keep saying this, that this politician, they have more than uh, enough to take care of themselves. But what about you? What about I? So it is important for us to understand all this. I am not saying don't protest. I will never say that because protest is our right. As long as we are doing but it according Nigeria, to the law, protest is our is right. It is just so shameful and so and so sad that we live in a country in where they see protesters to, as as to, as to uh, as threats. But protest is your right, and I will I will never ask you not to protest because I and myself I'm going through the the hardship in the, in this country. I'm going through the stress in this country. If not that by the special grace of God, my supply don't come from this government. My supply comes from Abu because I don't belong to this kingdom. I belong to the kingdom of God. We are there is no uh, hardship. We are there is no economic crisis. So I don't depend on this earthly supply. Eh, I, 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 I would have been dead. So, At but most, I thank I God for the one who gives life and the one who supplies me with everything I need in life. So, for it's us right state. now, it is important for us to understand that this is our country. Nigeria is the only country we have. We don't have another country at the moment. We don't. So, it is important that we stay in this country and try to fix things in the country. Going out for war, fighting, I've been hearing sometimes, I just sit down and I read comments like this. I, I, I feel really sad that what some, some of us we say, some of us we want this to happen to the president, that to happen to the president, we want this to happen, we want that to happen, we want war, we want war. Let me tell you, we cannot afford to like experience you know, anything called war in pain in this country. We cannot. We cannot. So please, the best the thing we can do is to pray for our country. Prophet Joshua Igila has said it. He has advised today. us not just as One a, as a prophet. He has spoken as a prophet. He has spoken as a pastor. You know, he has spoken as a father. He has spoken as a leader. So it is important for that we listen. Let those that have ears pay attention to the voice of wisdom. Pay attention. Pay attention. Don't be Say that nah, this is enough. Is, yes, enough is enough. We all know we, we are all saying enough is enough. But please don't let yourself be used right, as you go out to protest. Do it peacefully. If any politician or any man or any woman asks you, gives you money, say go and do this and that to disrupt the peaceful protest that is going on. Ask that person what about your child? Is your child among? Is your child going with us? Exactly ask them man, that man, question man. because you All see right. it is because some of us we love money too much and we are super greedy we don't uh, care about other people we don't care about our country it, that is why we allow these hoodlums to use us as dogs as tools of mass destruction 
So it is important that we learn to ask them the right question. Are your children involved? Are your children involved? Don't let them use you as talks. Don't let them use you. Decide on your own to say you will never do it again. You will never be involved in anything that is going to disturb the peace and unity of our country. You are a Nigerian. Imagine somebody giving you money to go and destroy your own house, your own home, your own family. That is shameful. That is shameful. We need to put an end to it. So as we are going to protest, I pray also that the military, if you are a soldier watching this, it is important you understand that Nigeria is also your country. You don't have to. Nigerians are also your brothers and your sisters. They are also citizens of the, this country. Because you are a soldier does not mean that you should be shooting at anybody. You don't have to. Knowing fully well that you also experience the hardship in this country. You don't have any reason, any rights to want to shoot at anybody. We are all going through the hardship in the country at the moment. So I urge us not to shoot or fight any citizen. Let us give them the protection they need. Let us give them the guidance they need. Let us give them the, the instead the advice. Let us advise them. I created a video a few few days ago of uh, where uh, a military guy was advising protesters on how to go about things. That is the way things are supposed to be done. You don't have to say hey, if you hey, no no because at the end of the day, what they are fighting for, you are still going to benefit from it. As a military man, as a policeman, you are still going to benefit from it. Now the minimum wage is over seventy thousand. They want so those of you that earn less than seventy, you'll be earning uh, seventy. They are still fighting that it should be at least one fifty. Imagine where they are paying our police at least two fifty thousand and paying the military at least two fifty or five hundred thousand. Self, we have the money to earn to do that. If uh, what do they call these people, senators can be taking home ten to fifteen million naira per month. Who told you that this country cannot pay you two fifty thousand or three hundred thousand naira per month? They can pay you. You deserve it. So please let us use our head. Wisdom is profitable to direct. Wisdom is profitable to direct. Let us not allow these men and women to use us. They have been using us for years. How long? When is it going to end? So let us understand all these things and then do things the way it's supposed to be done. Let us do things the way it's supposed to be done for our country to be better. Because if you kill Nigerians, what, what have you gained? After shooting at them, what have you gained? What benefit? What are you going to get for, out of it? What are you going to get from it? So please, Nigerians, I want to urge us, as the prophet, the prophet has said, let us do well to pray for our country, Nigeria. Let us try to position ourselves well as Nigerians and do what is supposed to be done and do the right thing. For once, the right thing needs to be done. As, as we are going to protest, don't let them have any reason to say that, okay, you have matched red line, you have gone uh, uh, against the law, you have done this, you have done that. Don't let that, let us not be found uh, uh, wanting in that area. Try to be of good behavior, do the right thing, do what we are supposed to do. Don't let anybody use you. Nigeria is our country. Let us not do anything that is going to destroy our country. Don't let yourself be used to destroy the peace and unity in this country. Whether you think there is peace and unity or not, don't let yourself be used. That is the message. That is what I'm saying. We need to start doing things right. We need to start doing things right. Please, I encourage us to pray for our country, Nigeria. Pray for Nigeria. Nigeria needs prayer at this time. Nigeria needs prayer. Instead of staying online, say that, that, that we don't need peace, we don't need this, we don't need this. Use that same energy to pray for our country, Nigeria. Pray for Nigeria. Pray for Nigeria. Nigeria needs it. We need prayer at this time. We need prayer urgently. We need urgent prayer in this country because, you see, what is happening right now, eh, you need to go and see what some people are going through. Maybe life is fair to you, no problem, but I'm telling you that some people are facing serious hardship. Some people are going through a lot in this country. Some people, they have seen, you know that thing they call Shege, they have seen the worst of it, Shege promise, they have seen all of it. People barely feed, people can barely feed, eat, they, they, nothing is coming out. You will go to work, you will get some money, you will waste it on things that you don't even understand. Go and look at a cup of curry. Go and look at a cup of rice. It is it is sad and scary. It is sad and scary. So please, I want to urge us, let us do well to pray for our country. I know you are angry. I know you are sad. I know things are not going on well. But as you are protesting, 
be praying. Pray to God, for God to help us in this time. We need that prayer. We need that prayer. I am begging us. Let us do well to pray for our country, Nigeria. And as we do so, I have that confidence that Nigeria is going to be better. Nigeria is going to be bigger. Nigeria is going to be greater. We are not going to... God will not allow us to be put to shame. The enemies will not laugh at us. Nigeria will be better. So I am begging us to do what we are supposed to do as Nigerians. Let us fight for our right and also fight for the betterment of this country, Nigeria. Let us do so in accordance to the law. Protest, like I said earlier, is our right, but let us do it peacefully. As a Prophet Yoshegila have said, let us try to do things in the right way, the way it's supposed to be done. Don't bomb buildings, don't scatter places, don't bomb. Please just protest in peace. That is every all I am just saying. It is important. You have listened to what our man of God have said. Like I said earlier, listen to the voice of wisdom and adhere to it, whether you like him or not. Everything he said makes sense. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please do it to subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notification bell. So if I post another video, you'll be notified. If you return a subscribe, I want to say thank you to you. Thank you for only stopping by to watch our video. We love and appreciate the support you give us on this channel. May God bless you. May God reward you in the name of Jesus. Do me a favor. Share the video on all social media platforms. Share with your friends and love them. God bless you as you do so. I'll see you in the next video. You are blessed. I have good news for you. Is being written. I am what I am by the grace of God. As long as that grace does not fail, Satan will never fail. This revival you see will not be aborted.